So hey you guys, this is Glamazon Tay and I'm back with another video. So this is first episode of my design series on my channel. Basically you guys, I just got a new house in Atlanta. I wanna take you guys through me decorating every single room. So we're gonna first start with my master bedroom and it turned out so freaking good. So I definitely can't wait till y'all see. Voila! So this is my bathroom, you guys. And honestly, I'm going to go through one part by part. It is a lot of different parts, so definitely bear with me on getting through it. Okay, so first things first, when you get into the bathroom, this is like one of my favorite parts. I actually ended up going on YouTube and learning how to fold towels in a more luxurious, expensive way because I wanted my bathroom to really, really look like in a hotel. Like I wanted it to be like a staycation vibe at home. And then I was like, just having it like this basically. And it was super easy to do, super easy to um, basically fold it. And I think I got a video of me folding it and I can show you guys, or I did it also on my vlogging channel. So definitely check that out in detail of how to fold it because it was super easy. But this is like a medium sized lint towel. And this color towel is actually the color sand. And I got it from Target. And I believe, I don't remember how much price it is. So if I do remember, I'll shoot out. But if not, it actually will be linked below. So you guys can definitely stay tuned for that. And then I was like, okay, let me do something different here because I could have did another little towel accent in it, but I've been loving pompous grass like so much. I feel like it gives like the bougiest, most luxurious vibe. And it just makes me feel like really peaceful and relaxed. So I was like, let me go ahead and slip a little piece in here and just to see what it looked like. And it ended up turning out really good. And then I pretty much got pompous grass from a couple different spaces and different areas um but i will link them below like i said because some of them are like only 99 cents and y'all know it can actually run pretty expensive and then i got some on amazon as well but this is the short one so i want to show you guys it isn't long stem at all it actually is pretty short but it worked perfect and it just slipped in like a little pocket and then right here this is my wallpaper um detail this was my first time actually doing wallpaper i was actually pretty nervous because i've never done wallpaper before and i feel like my mom and them they never was into the wallpaper vibe so I put it up. It was a little struggle buzz, but it does look really good. I think it also adds a great accent to the wall and it makes these ceilings. There's pretty tall in here. The ceilings are pretty high up, but it just gives them that elongated look. And I didn't want the whole wall done because over here we have like it cut, but I'll show y'all that in a minute. But right here, I just wanted to keep it straight and narrow and went up. And I got the peeling stick. It was from Target and I only needed two of them to do this wall and this wall. So you don't need that much. And I believe it was only like $30. And then next over here, um, I have this cute little vase. This came from Hobby Lobby. And I don't remember how much this was at all, but I know with the bathroom, I wanted to go with a sand color vibe. I was feeling the sand vibe. It was giving me, that's what I wanted to do. So I like that it had the matching sand color up here. And then it has like, I guess it's a little ivory down here. And then this actually is pretty old. This is from my old apartment. It's like a little Buddha head I had. So I just added it in here for a little touch because I didn't want it to be so basic over there as well so then next over here it brings me to like my centered area so i knew i had to have a statement um area in here just so it would be like really eye-catching and also i was focusing on when i take my little instagram pictures what the vibe is going to look like you know when you take little mirror pics and stuff i wanted my stuff to be like a1 so i did get these of course so i let me start with with the bases so the base of it is just like a regular little vase um i've been had this but they actually have them in hobby lobby target walmart just a cheap little one. It wasn't much at all. And I ended up putting some sand in it. And the sand was fairly cheap. So that was like maybe what, five, six dollars for that whole little thing right there. Then up here, you see I have the different colors. So I have like the ivory color. I have like a little dusty pink. Then I have like a little rose color. And then it's like the tan. So I got these all from Hobby Lobby. They had all the different shades and tones and it's from the hers and his collection. So I went ahead and jumped on top of that cause I was like, okay, this is giving lit. And on top of that, I feel like it gave um, the bathroom a little bit of color because it does have like a really hard, not hard, but it's like very, very um, like aztec -y, like all the types of the backwash and all that. So I wanted to pick that up, but not focus on it so much. And then the shorter ones are from Amazon. And I got these, I believe I got like 
10 of them or eight of them for $10. It was like super affordable. And then these little candle holders I ended up getting, they came from Hobby, no. The candle holders actually came from Target and they were on sale. I seen them in the sale portion, it was like $2. So I jumped on top of that. And then the actual candles up here, they were only 70 cents. I don't have mine lit um, just because number one, I don't really think I could lit it right here, but cause it'll be a lot going on. But you know, I like the way it looks. If I ever wanted to light it, I would and just move them out the way. So down here, this set was actually a steal. It came with the canister. Well, first off, it came with this tray and the tray is normally $20. I believe I got it like super on clearance. Like it was a lot, it was a big deal. And then it had the big canister with it as well. And then inside of it, I actually have like some little cotton pads and then it has a topper to it. And then I also got the little tray plate. You can use this for like your jewelry dish. I actually put my lashes in here because I always lose my lashes. So it makes it that much easier just to have my lashes inside of here. So I have it sitting on the top of this, like a little three way. Then it came with this canister. This one also came with a top, but I wanted to leave the top off so you could see the Q-tips. And also it did not fit with the Q-tips on top of it. And then also over here, I have this one. So these two are basically the same size and these two are basically the same size. And then this one has like the little bobby pins in it because those are like my necessities I just use and want to pick out. And it comes with this kind of top. And I love this because it's stone. So I normally I have glass stuff or whatever, but I just love the texture of it. I love how natural it looks. I don't know. It just gives me a very soothing vibe. And then over here, I actually have an oil diffuser. Um, I got the color zest. Well, I got the scent zest, right? But they had a bunch of different scents. I really personally don't, I smell the zest, but a really, really big tip that my friend told me is that you can pretty much close your door. When you have the scents there, just close the door and it'll leave the scents inside. This scent is a like faint scent. It's not like a very big smelling one. Um, it's just a freshness scent though, cause it gives me, it says zest. So it kind of gives me a little bit lemony. Um, but it's a lot in here and I would think that for it to be this big of a jar, it would have more of a heavy aroma in the room. It actually doesn't, but it also looks good aesthetically. So these are like oil diffusers. Everybody has been using these though. Like, so I was like, let me jump on the wave. And then I have this vase over here that's just mirroring the same vase over there. So that's the same. And then this is the look of the hotel vibes and period. Now I also want to show you guys what's inside of my drawers down here because I did do a little bit of organizing. It's not too much, but I'm just still gonna show y'all as well. So it's very, very essential because number one, it helps me to condense down a lot of my space. So I just put like some bleach wipes back there, air freshener, some soap to wash my hands. Um, and then just like my, you know, little roses and all my other little or flowers that I could put in my spiritual baths. <laughs> And then I got like deodorant and stuff down here. And then I love this. I showed y'all this in my open house tour. And this is really, I like this shelf a lot. Like I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I do, but I actually pretty love it. Pretty much love it. So over here you have like my little makeup wipes. There's my Neutrogena liquid face wash. So this is pretty much anything I'm gonna need when I come home from take my makeup off. Even back here is like a lot of makeup cleansers. And then I got the Bior stuff to get rid of blackheads. I got my set of lotion. I keep my toothbrushes down here because I honestly don't like to see my toothbrushes up there. So I'm just gonna keep it down here and just like shave and stuff. But this drawer is so essential. And if you guys are interested in getting you a little functioning drawer like this as well, you can purchase it off Amazon. And I will have it linked below in my Amazon store, but I highly suggest doing a drawer. Like I love it. Like ultimately love it. So then we have over here, I ended up getting these shell, this shelving system from um, container, the container store. And these are the shelves they actually use for like shoes and stuff. Excuse me, denim. <laughs> these are the shelves they use for shoes and stuff. So I just wanted to use this for like my flat arms, my curling arms, and then my blow dryer is so big it wouldn't fit. So I just had it on the side, but I just pull these out. But definitely be careful with these because they are pretty fragile and you don't want to, um, have them crack or break, but I just leave them right there. I don't bother them. I just pretty much put them in and I can fit about three to four tools inside of each one, depending on where they are. So right here is like my, um, this is my crimpers and stuff. And then up here is my curling irons. 
and that's all I got. That stuff back here. So I love, it's just like more condensed down. So this drawer right here, this is my drawer of, you know, just stuff to hold my hair back. This is the actual topper to the diffuser. So I just keep it in here. A little face mask. I like this cooling mask just because it's more soothing. And then I have my jade roller and all that stuff in here. So that's just all that's pretty much in there. These are the same things from the container store. And then I also got these containers that come from the dollar store. So I put like my caps in there my little heavy duty caps. These ones are like my little edgy bands. This right here is just um, my little, pan what is it? The pantyhose, y'all know this is why I used to make my ball cap wig. So all my hair stuff is down there, even my glues. I have a little bit of products. These products I use on a daily basis, like the Chi Silk Fusion and even this spray. It's like a heat protectant and stuff. And then over here is just my clips for like if my hair's in my way and stuff. What are you trying to show them then? And then over here is just like my even spray and I keep that up. But I got this organizer actually from Target. It's like way smaller, but I couldn't find any bigger ones. So this is the one I got from Target, but it's little, it was only $5. And then the smaller ones over here, like these containers, they came from the container store as well, but these actually were $10. The bigger ones that I just showed you guys were $15. So this is how it looks down here. Next in this area, this was my little towel rack area. So I actually have this towel right here. I did my little, you know, duplicate towels layered like the same way I did it over there. So initially I just did it with the bigger one and then I did this one inside of it. So these sand colored towels came from Target and then these towels actually came from Amazon. It came, these cream ones came in a set of six. So six towels came with it. So I just incorporated throughout. And then as I show you guys my next bathroom tour as well, I'll show you how I incorporated those as well. And then up here, I absolutely love these. So these pictures I actually got off Pinterest and I was like, okay, they definitely match my vibe. So I got these pictures and then I got the frames. I wanted a wooden frame and I got them off of Amazon and they were like $20 a piece, but it's good quality frame um, and then this isn't glass, which I actually really, really like because number one, if it falls off the wall, it ain't gonna be just in here shattered. Uh, pretty much when I dropped it, it literally ain't do much. So it isn't glass, but it's still worth it. And I love how big they are. And I just love the pictures. It just gives me vibes, calm, soothing, you know, just relaxing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, relax. So then I also wanna show you guys this, hold on real quick. Stay ass there. So down here, this is actually a little stool I ended up getting. This came from Amazon and I believe it was only like, maybe like $30. It was super easy to put together though. Cause I was looking for like a footstool. So I sometimes put it here and I'll just put my night clothes there or the towel that I'm actually currently using. And then sometimes I put it inside of my shower because then it's like a bath stool where I can just sit down, take a bath and stuff like that. And then also I didn't really show you guys into my rugs. So the rug over here, this rug actually came from Target and it matches the same color of the sand on the towels. And then over here, this rug also came from Target as well. Um, I think it's a bath loop one, like they're just a little textured, but I'm going to link all these. So if you guys are curious about any of this, that's where it's gonna come from. Okay, so next I'm gonna take y'all into my shower. It isn't really too much going on in the shower, but I just wanna show y'all what I got in the shower. So over here in the shower, this is my favorite little body washes I like to use. Um, Y'all seen ever since I've been in my old place, these are like my favorite body washes. So if they wanna sponsor me, definitely do that because I love these. They keep me soothed and cooled. And then over here, I just got these little bath tools I got from um, Target. So it's just like a little, let me see if I can get it out. Girl, I ain't trying to come on. It's giving out fucking use it. <laughs> but over here is basically the sponge and my little brush. And I don't know where these little hooks came from, but I found them in my little tool kit because y'all know I got a little toolbox or whatever. So I just hung them there. It just seems more accessible. And then also over here, I want y'all to see like the bath tub towel seat thing. And often I'll just like, you know, sit here, scrub up, wash up, and just let the water pour on me. So I promise you, I was like, okay, it's definitely sturdy too, because I know y'all probably looking at it like, is it really sturdy girl you put it together? I'm not gonna lie, she a little wobbly, but I definitely feel like she is, it's because of me, but I did my best I can do, but y'all gonna see, I, this is not a tutorial on how to fix stuff. So, you know, next girl, denim. Okay. <laughs> 
So next is trash can. I ended up getting this from Target as well. Super convenient, just small. Only thing I don't like about it is you have to pick up the lid every time. But I wanted this to complement the backsplash on the bathroom and everything. I just didn't want it to be exactly the same. I wanted to really complement it. And this color also matches the frames pretty well as well. And I just let that sit there. And then over here, I actually have the most perfect little bathroom stool. I've never had a bathroom that was big enough for me to actually incorporate a stool in. So with this, I just love being in here. So, you know, it just swirls around. And it was extremely affordable. I think it was like $30. And I put it together myself. So all this stuff I put together myself. So if you're a person that's not really good on the decor tip of, I mean not decor, if you're not really good with building stuff, this stuff is like really good to build seamless because it comes with all your little tools and stuff. So then next, we're going to talk about one of my favorite parts of my bathroom. And this is the tub area. Well, actually, I guess I'll tell you about this first. So next, we're going to talk about another part of my bathroom that was the last part. And it ended up being this. You guys see how I did like the little curtain. So I went to Michael's and just got a little bit of fabric and actually just threw it across there and it looks, you know, super um, basic. And I was like, no, I need something else. So I went on Amazon and actually seen this and I think it just matches the floor of the bathroom. It gives the fringe vibe, tassels. It's this chill, cool vibes. And then also I got this picture over here I want you guys to see. The picture is another one that complements the other two, but I just wanted, you know, I feel like it all goes together. It looks good, right? It gives the same thing. Even in the picture, she's giving like serenity, peace, black queen, bad bitch. When I'm up in the function, you know, that's what's up. <laughs> that's what it's giving. And then I love how these are kind of one and the same. So basically this is my bathtub. I got a bunch of things from my sis, my besties brand, um, Zentaline. Basically she had some bath sauce that I had over here. It's like a bath blend. I also have my little flowers over here, like, you know, my little roses. You can just throw them inside of the tub for your spiritual bath. And then I have some herbs and vibes, but I'm pretty sure it'll be more stuff over here, like iPad, phone, all that kind of stuff when I'm actually in the tub, you know what I'm saying? So that's why it looks like it does now. Palo Santos and of course my crystal, my amethyst crystal, you know, cause I need that great energy. And then over, I think the last part of the bathtub that we have not talked about is this oh oh and i don't know if i told you guys these little things right here on the edge i love them because they're just simplistic it doesn't really i guess it never really went with the whole bathroom but i just wanted some greenery and i also felt like i wanted to utilize them because i do have them and i got these from target and they were only five dollars i got them a while ago so i don't know if they still have them available but i will for sure link them so you guys can see it and then one of my last little cutesy parts of it is over here and that part right there, that's my little Buddha. I got that from Marshalls. I love it. It's just so, I don't know, it's pristine. It just looks so, uh, like it's just, I don't know, Buddha represents it to me like a lot of peace, a lot of calm, a lot of getting in touch with your individuality and stuff. So I have that there. And of course, you know, my favorite, the pompous grass behind it. So we just put a few sprigs back there just to give it a little something. I might ultimately change everything around or some things and add and, you know, do those. But for the most part, I'm in love with the bathroom. I really do like it. I think that it reflects me and my era that I'm in now, my little soft girl era. So, you know, this is what it's given. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Also, definitely don't forget to come back because I will be doing another video for my other bathroom and I'm just going to do each room in my house. Like I'm literally going to go through on the same tip and do the same thing over and over and over again. So yeah, I'll be seeing you guys in my next one and I love you guys. Yeah, See ya. Sure. When I'm in it, that's when I'm going to have all the stuff. So no. <laughs> why would you show that? this camera <laughs> oh my god my bust my i need a break give me a camera